Why are you standing here lonely young girl? Is everything alright? No please sir. Why? What happened? Come inside my car and talk to me okay? Okay please sir. What's wrong to you young girl? I'm here to do whatever you want just be free and talk to me okay? My parents die has since 2007, so I have nowhere to go sir. Where to sleep self has become problem for me, I'm being hopeless no help coming from nowhere. So sorry for that dear, will you like me to get you a house to stay in? I will be so grateful sir and will be appreciate for that sir please. Okay if you say so then it's work, but it come with condition if only you can then I will help you. What's that sir please? Yes if you will let me having sex with you all the time then I will give you everything you want, if not then I cannot do anything for you. This is so hard, but I don't have any choice sir, I accept it but please don't fail me at the end sir. Good, you don't have any problem, you help me then I help you this is simply as ABC. Smile dear. What? So you get mine to reject it the kiss right? It's just now we meet so please take it easy for me sir. Are you serious? Did you want me to help you or not? If you dare in rejecting my offers again then I'm done with you. Cannot help you anymore. Good girl. That's all I want. Knocking is someone there please. Come in please the door has opened. What bring you here sir? I saw that this house is for sale and that's why I'm here sir. Okay you are welcome Mr. Man, this house is two bedroom apartment with hall, toilet and bath and the price is $3,000. No problem sir, I have already prepared before I came here. Okay then it's work. This is the house dear. Wow you surprised me sir. Don't dare call me sir or daddy again, I'm your love bear that in your mind. I'm so sorry please darling. Good sir. Now I have get you a house don't forget my condition. Young girls of today after you have helped them then they leave you and will not even respect you again. Tomorrow morning sharp I'm taking you to one of my baba to make blood oath between me and you. Yes that's it, are you ready or not young girl? I'm ready I have no choice please. Good. What bring you here my son? Bob I came to make blood covenant with this lady here. Okay but are you peoples ready to keep your promise? Because anyone will fail to keep it and obey will pay for it. No one break this blood covenant and go free. Bob we are ready that's why we are here. Okay if you say so, young lady are you ready for it? Yes please Bob I am ready to do the blood covenant with him. Okay if you peoples say so, then it's work. Hi queen looking so beautiful, I'm Edward you dear? Thanks dear I'm also Opelia. Nice name queen, can we go out please dear? Sure darling. Where have you go dear? I have come to the house but you are not there. Mr. Man, it's over for us you are too old for me I have meet my type so place go for your size also. Are you not even ashamed sleeping with someone she can be your daughter? Don't dare call me again by done with you, take your house let me be. Wow is that what this poor lady is telling me now after I have done for her? Okay we wait to see if this relationship will stand or not. As far as I have made blood covenant with you nothing will stop me to love you. Ophelia I want to spend all my life with you, will you marry me? Sure darling, you are the one I need in my life and finally I have see you. Wow. Love you so much dear. Love you more darling. My baby girl, my world and my everything. Jesus, what dream is that? 
since I got marriage I always see this old man in my dream, making love with me, what's that to, I need to tell my husband for this I cannot keep it again anymore. My husband something is really bordering me, I can't keep it again I need to share with you. Really, what's that sweetheart? Since we got marriage I always dream seeing my old boyfriend, I mean that old man I told you about last time. Making love with me, kissing me and sometimes sleeping with me in the dream. This is so strange dear. But don't worry dear, as I told you on our wedding day that I will always stand for you I will do so for you anytime okay. If God permit I will take you to my pastor. The man of God who bless our marriage and I believe you will be free from this stress okay. Thanks so much darling for being with me always. Are you Mr. Edward wife? Yes please sir. Okay have you sit please. Thanks sir. Before you came here spirit of God show me something. Before you got Naryaga you had blood covenant with a man before and you leave that man is that true? Yes please man of God, thoughts true. Okay thoughts why you are still seeing the man in your dream, you have bind an ungodly soul ties with him, that gave him access to making love with you in your dream, but as you have step your leg here, the Lord will set you free in Jesus name. Amen. Man of God, what is an ungodly soul ties? Please you go through this, let us first check this Bible verse okay. Okay please sir. Scriptures. Isaiah 28, 18, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. Galatians 3 13 to 14, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Let me quickly highlight those things that form blood covenant and sacrifice, sexual intercourse, seeing blood in the dream, seeing your menses in the dream, cutting of body parts in the dream, sucking the organs of a man or a woman in the dream or physical, seeing a cloth with blood stain, your names in the covenant of darkness. This is an agreement between two or more parties, bounded together by lust, evil powers and monitoring spirit. Ungodly soul tie is a demonic covenant between man and woman. One of the hardest things to do is breaking ungodly soul ties covenant. It is a strong tie between two people or more that bound them together with the evil spirit's attachment. The ungodly soul tie is responsible for the sluggish delay of many destinies to be fulfilled. That's why prayers to break all ungodly soul ties could be your destiny saver. The witchcraft power behind this evil covenant has been destroying many people's marriages and thereby dragging them backward. Unarguably, sexual soul tie is one of the strongest covenants that kills godly affair and replace it with ungodly relationship. For example, having sex with people in the dream is the best example of this sermon. This shows that your souls have already been sold out to the spirit spouse and this dream experience can frustrate your expectation in marriage. Whenever a person find it difficult to have a stable relationship, it's because such person is into one covenant that has been nursing for years. When you have sex with someone you are not married to, you are already tied to the spirit of the person. This means that whatever spirit that is troubling the person will surely affect you. Why? Because there is an involvement of sexual feelings between you and him and which is capable of inviting demons. Yes dear sister. Words soul ties, for example. If you are in a relationship and you tell him or her these words, I will love you forever, I will always love you or you are my everything. These words are binding forces and however, if you end up breaking up with this person, it will cause several setback and marital problems. Certainly, your words have power to bind you together by the confession of I will always love you. You unknowingly sentence your heart to ungodly soul tie with such person through that careless confession. When both of you are no longer together, Chances of having marital and financial problems is very possible. If you are a woman for example, this will require you by breaking the ungodly soul tie with this man and if you fail to pray against this evil ties, be rest assured that you will keep him dreaming about your ex-lovers either he is trying to come back, or to have sex with you. However, the word soul ties has power to robe you in one bad spot for a longer period. 
it is possible the words you spoke may be the reason why it is difficult for you to marry and prosper. That deep emotional words have been used by the marine spirit to bind your soul to the water spirit. Bind words with partners have the long legs to travel with a person and catch up with him. That's why if a person declares to you that he loves you, it's not your fault, it is the spirit of lust and bad demon that is in place. In addition, it is possible that you might not have done anything sexual with him, but as long there is an agreement between you and the person, you will be hindered. The soul ties words are still bearing fruits in your life, because you are still constantly thinking of him or her. Perhaps you are divorced and were about to get married and emotionally confessed some of these words without knowing the outcome when the man would finally leave you. There are healthy and good soul ties. A good example is the soul tie between David and Jonathan. 1 Samuel 20, 3-17. Another example is the bond between Naomi and her daughter-in-law, Ruth. Ruth 1 14-17. On the other hand, there are evil soul ties. These are unhealthy soul ties which put and keep people in bondage. A good example is the destructive soul tie that developed between Ammon the son of King David and his sister Tamar. 2 Samuel 13, 1 to 15. The unhealthy situation continues until these evil soul ties are broken through prayers, counseling, and deliverance. An evil soul tie is, 1. An unholy attachment to a person, place or thing such as, a. Parents. Siblings. Previous and current boyfriends and girlfriends. People of the same or of opposite sex. E. Dead relatives. Religious groups. Cult and unholy bonding whether conscious or unconscious. They may be hidden but continue to affect your life and relationships negatively. An unholy relationship with the church, its pastors, and the members. This could be from manipulations by demonic authorities within the church through occult means such as incantations and enchantments. An unholy relationship with spirit beings such as spirit husbands and family idols. This often is accompanied by sex in the dream. An evil covenant that keeps perpetuating itself until it is properly broken. What can ungodly soul ties does in the life of a person? Ungodly soul ties can rubbish a person's salvation and power. Ungodly soul ties with a person can shut down your heavens. Ungodly soul ties with a demonic person can arrest your organ. Ungodly soul ties with the wrong person can tie down your glory. Ungodly soul ties can introduce marital disappointment and unprofitable works. This demonic ties can affect a person's marriage if they are not broken and renounced before marriage. Ungodly soul ties can open a way for the spirit spouse to torment your marital plans. It prevents a man from shining or progress. Ungodly soul ties can cause a woman to be forgotten or to encounter stubborn promise and fail. Ungodly soul ties forces a relationship to be unstable. It makes you to suffer, poor and beg for bread. So please sir causes of evil soul ties? Causes of evil soul ties. Bewitchment. 2. Unholy and immoral sex outside of godly and biblical marriage. This could be with the opposite sex, same sex, with animals, and with sex toys. 3. Past failed relationships particularly when they were not properly ended. You have to consciously and prayerfully let go of them. 4. Spiritual marriages to spirit spouse are still in place that need to be dissolved through proper deliverance and prayers. Examples are spiritual marriage to idols, siblings, parents, etc. 5. Childhood abuse including emotional and sexual abuse. 6. Rape and other sexual violations. 7. Harassment by familiar spirits. 8. Spiritual violations such as demonic initiations and dedications to idols. Dedication to idols marries you off to them and this leads to the forming of evil soul ties with them and sex in the dream. 9. Inordinate relationships that involve parents, siblings, friends, and schoolmates. 10. Manipulative parents. 11. Living in demonic or polluted buildings and environments. 12. Involvement in witchcraft and marine bondages. 13. The presence of negative spirits such as spirit of infirmity and sickness, poverty, varenus, insanity, demotion, non-achievement, and failure. Facts about evil soul to evil soul ties result in negative affections towards, evil soul ties are uncontrollable emotions towards evil soul ties put you in evil soul ties can be overt or hidden. They can be conscious or unconscious. Evil soul ties indicate that unholy covenants are in operation and need to be broken. Evil soul ties show that emotions have been wounded and need to be healed and restored. Evil soul ties flow both ways. 
It can flow from you towards others, and it can also be from others towards you. They tie you down to your past and make new relationships difficult or even impossible until they are broken. Evil soul ties can turn a person into an idol in your heart and life. 2 Samuel 13, 1-2 Evil soul ties when it gets to the extreme can make you to offend God. This is because God does not want us to have any idol or put anyone or anything before Him. God is a jealous God and is jealous over everything in our lives including emotions, feelings, and relationships. Dark powers can use an evil soul tie to manipulate an otherwise healthy relationship. It is like a rope tying you to a person, place, relationship, or thing even against your will. Evil soul ties are very stubborn and can be difficult to break. How ungodly soul ties covenant manifest? How ungodly soul ties covenant manifest? When the person breaks the vows, revealing the secret to other third parties, taking blood oaths, touching unclean things. When you are dealing with a strange person, hidden common mistake between a man and woman when going into blood covenant and sacrifice, the fear of losing each other, on the promise that both of them are forever together, on the promise that they are going to marry for better for worse, many people have entered into evil covenant through evil sacrifice, blood covenant, sexual covenant, environmental pollution. While others inherit this kind of evil covenant from their formal or present affair with their partner. Many women have been disappointed after making a blood oath with a man on the promises to marry her. Whenever a woman is involved in this, her virtue will be lost. When a man deflowers a woman, a blood covenant has been established and his stars will be hunted. If a man have sex with a woman who has some level of marine spirits, then the man is likely to contact the evil forces that are troubling that woman. If the man is an evil person, he will deposit an evil seed into the body of the lay and this problem continues when a woman has sexual relations with several men, her spirit is scattered and her glory is destroyed. Sexual act outside marriage forms a strong soul tie bondage. How do you break ungodly soul ties? To escape the soul tie bondage can sometimes be very difficult especially when God has not shown you his mercy. The Bible says, is there anything too hard for God to do? By the blood of Jesus you will be completely delivered from stubborn and godly soul ties covenant. Amen. How do you break ungodly soul ties? Repent from all secret sins and deal with all known sins. Surrender your life to Christ. Forgive all those that have hurt, rejected, and disappointed you. Forgive yourself. Go for deliverance if possible, pray inquiry prayers to discover the source of your problems. Make a list of all the people, places, and things to which you have related in an unholy way. Bind and break evil soul ties with them one by one. Please take time to mention their names one by one and break the evil ties. Do not lump them together. Do not be discouraged. Always remember that our Lord Jesus Christ has already paid the price for your freedom from all bondage. Galatians 3.13-14 Live a holy life. Do not go back to Egypt again or go back to your old vomit. 2 Peter 2.22 Close all open doors. Return everything in your possession that came from any unholy relationship such as gifts from sugar daddies and sugar mommies, evil associates, boyfriends and other unholy sexual partners. Get rid of polluted items that you collected from polluted churches and other unholy sources. Pray prayer of restoration to recover all that evil soul ties have destroyed and stolen from your life. Barricade your life with the blood of Jesus and the fire of God to prevent regrouping from the stubborn spirits perpetuating evil soul ties. I release yourself self from every unprofitable relationship and friendship, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen Amen. Every unconscious and conscious evil covenant working against yourself life, break by the blood of Jesus. Amen Man of God. Please now you are going home put everything I have said IT here into practice and I believe you will be free from this. If I know this is what will bring you to me I have not done that. No problem my dear sis, word of God said in time we don't know he overlooked us but now, he command you to repent and change, and bear in your mind that, you can't change the past but you can change the future. So now by the grace of God you have seen the course, I encourage you to stand on your ground and set yourself free from this soul tie now before it's destroy your marriage and home. Be blessed please. Thanks so much man of God. We give God all the glory. Go in victory in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen sir. Thank you Lord for this revelation. I pray for your grace and strength to face this battle Lord.
I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, soul and body now in Jesus' name. I apply the blood of Jesus to break all demonic yokes in my life, in Jesus' name. O Lord have mercy and forgive me of all my sins, in Jesus' name. I bind every demon assigned to enforce any evil covenant in my life in Jesus' name. I command the strong forces behind my relationship slash marriage, catch fire, in Jesus' name. I bind any demons attached to this soul tie with this person, in Jesus' name. Let all ungodly ties with my ex whom I have sex with in the past to break by fire, in Jesus' name. Every stubborn altar operating in my life as a result of this ungodly relationship slash marriage, break by fire, in the name of Jesus. Any power that is using my blood against my marriage, dry up spiritually, in Jesus' name. I break and loose myself, from every collective curse, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break the stronghold of the wicked upon my life, in Jesus' name. I refuse to be controlled by any evil covenant of my father's house, in Jesus' name. I withdraw my glory from any man or woman using it to shine, in Jesus' name. All my lost virtues, come back to me, in Jesus' name. I command, all foundational strong men attached to my life to be paralyzed, in the name of Jesus. I renounce every conscious and unconscious ungodly covenant with the dead, in Jesus' name. I renounce every ungodly covenant binding on me as a result of my sexual feelings with my ex, break, in the name of Jesus. I renounce, late marriage in my bloodline, in the name of Jesus. I break every sexual agreement between me and, in Jesus' name. Anything in my life gotten from my ex-boyfriend that is causing sorrow in my life, I shake you out all the money, clothes and other gifts collected from my ex that is binding my soul to him, be destroyed, in Jesus' name. Every limitation, introduced into my destiny by foundational idol power, roast, in the name of Jesus. Any marine power binding my soul to the water slash tree slash village, expire, in Jesus' name. I cancel the verdict of the wicked upon my life, in Jesus' name. Soul tie, I break you by fire, in Jesus' name. Every evil soul tie with money, break by fire, in the name of Jesus. I cancel the nickname my ex gave me, in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, destroy every inherited covenant from my ex, in the name of Jesus. Every word chains from my ex-boyfriend or ex-boyfriend, binding me to him or her, break by fire. Every curse of unprofitable love affair, afflicting my virtues, be broken, in Jesus' name. O oh God, deliver my soul from the strong man, in Jesus' name. I break and loose myself, from every collective evil covenant, in the name of Jesus. You my glory, hear the word of the living God, you must not cooperate with my enemies in the Jesus' name. release myself, from the grip of any problem transferred into my life from the womb, in the name of Jesus. Any power attacking me through my destiny through this man or woman, go back to sender, in Jesus' name. O Lord kill the strange spirit that does not want me to marry in the Jesus' name, every ungodly relationship causing delay in my life, break by fire. I break up today. Every curse that has come upon me as a result of the unbrokenable covenant, I command you to break by fire, in Jesus' name. I break this soul tie and renounce every unholy part of the bond, in Jesus' name. Every hidden and unknown covenant troubling my destiny, in the name of Jesus I break you now. I break every covenant of death speaking against me, in Jesus' name. Every oath that I have taken or taken on my behalf, binding any ungodly covenant in my life and marriage, let the blood of Jesus reverse such oath and unseal any such ungodly covenant. In Jesus' name, Deuteronomy 29, 12. Thank you Lord for answer my prayers. I'm here again for you my love. I am not your own again. Jesus Christ is now my husband. I am in him and he is in me. Now I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ to catch fire of God and contra me now in Jesus' name. Thank you Lord for giving me victory on this battle. God set the young lady free from blood covenant. Hallelujah be to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Every covenant made outside God is a violation of God's words. Exodus 23:32. Our God is a covenant-keeping God. He can break all kinds of soul tie that afflicts God's children today. Numbers 23:19. When a person enters into a covenant with a devil, such lives will be polluted and cursed. The devil will try to deal with such individual who tries to breach any agreement made with them without no mercy. Anyone that violate or break any blood covenant or oath will either die or suffer a terrible afflictions. When blood is involved in an oath, it becomes a serious issue. The blood covenant and sacrifice made outside marriage is as strong as those formed through marriage. It is sad that most people have not been adequately informed about this evil blood covenant. Any relation or act that began with sexual or blood oath is as dead as condemnation. That's why we need to pray and destroy every ungodly covenant that must have been made on our behalf by generations before us. Parents, have you asked your children if they have unconsciously made a blood covenant when they were small? It's very important to do that, so if you have not do so do it now, God bless you. Please if you have not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Now is the time for salvation. Kindly pray this prayers with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. Amen. God bless you for making this good choice today. Now walk as light of darkness and don't go back to your vomit. To sow a seed into this ministry for bundle to upload spiritual and revival videos please you can do it only this number 0 531,769,689 name is Michael Soa. Or send it through this bank account 611101017835 9 GCB Bank and the name is Michael Soa. God bless you for supporting the work of God.